Hey, what's up, Eric? This is a demo video for you for your Magic of Myth uh, by Veracity Labs in Seven Chambers. I know that I have had this for a while, so I apologize. Um, I've actually had this installed for quite a while, but you had a bad uh, first generation helper board. Um, so I reached out to Lewis. He sent me a brand new one. Um, it's a Gen 2. So uh, it was very easy to swap those out, even though the Gen 2s are LEDs and the Gen 1s were NeoPixels. So not a big deal. It came today. Um, I did have to take the red and the green LEDs and the resistors and swap them on my hot air station. Um, but I got all that done, got it wired in. This is working fine. And then I also have a recessed blade here that I made for you as well. So we'll go over all that. All right. Uh, this has a Profi install. You've got two sets of Carl Chen PCBs. So this is your first one right here. Um, you have the Veracity Labs Crystal Chamber. So how to get to that is just unscrew the grenade section here. Um, I got the two sound fonts on here that you sent me. So uh, they're both Kyberphonic. Uh, you got the Return, which is the Luke font. And then you have the Unstable, which is the Kylo font. All right. Um, this is your Crystal Chamber. Uh, this thing is very beautiful and it's very cool to to build up uh, it, it takes a little bit to build it up but once it's all done it's very satisfying um, you've got two neopixel accents up in this area right here that you'll see shine through here in a minute then you have a real quartz crystal right here and it's got its own neopixel accent so a total of three accents in this crystal chamber your second set of carl chen pcbs right here um, how to get to the board if you ever need to uh, look at something or, or make some changes. There is a copy of the config file that I made on the SD card as well. But to just get to the board, unscrew this back piece. You'll notice it has a speaker pod in it. So this is running a 28 millimeter Smuggles Outpost Elite speaker. It does say Luke Skywalker there in Arabish. Um, and that speaker is made to stay inside of this guy. All right. But when you take that off, you look over here. It says solo sabers for me in Arabesh. Um, you've got your recharge port. So 1.3 millimeter recharge port. Easy access to your SD card and your micro USB. And you can get to everything from right there. All right. So to charge it, that's what you do. Or to make any changes to the board, that's how you access that as well. Um, when you put this back on, just make sure you screw it down nice and tight. Uh, to get to your helper board and reveal board, Take this clamp card and slide it back. All right. You can slide it back to get to your kill switch right here. Or if you slide it all the way back, you can see your reveal board. All right. I'm just going to slide it about right here. So we'll go ahead and we'll flip up that kill switch. Now, as you can tell, I've got the cave scene blinkies going on, red and green here. They're right where they need to be now. You can see your crystal chamber. I've got your... Uh, quartz crystal kind of pulsing there and I've got these doing a little something different all right these will time out if we don't turn on the saber right away but when we turn it on which is the front switch the red LED turns off and the green one stays on and then this is your crystal chamber here so everything's lined up nice I do have the top piece doing a little something different kind of pulsing back and forth in between green and white. Very loud saber. This is your auxiliary down here. So if I put this over here for you. take a look at the Kylo font while we have the grenade section off so you can see the crystal chamber for that as well. Traitor! And this is what I've got your crystal chamber looking like when it's off. And then we turn it on.
and I gave you twist off, all right? But when you get ready to put a blade in, just go ahead, take your grenade section and just screw it all the way down. And we'll turn this light back on. Make sure this guy is screwed on nice and tight. To put a blade in, what you wanna do is come over here and unscrew this top ring, all right? Just the ring part. So we'll take this off. When you do, you expose your blade retention screw right here. So you're gonna to have to take your Allen key and back that out of the blade socket, right? It has to be in the blade socket for that ring to screw on. So once we got that out, we can take this guy right here, take your recessed blade, you have a recessed PCB right here, and just slide this over the blade, slide it over the blade just like that. So now we can take the blade and screw it right on. So um, you'll wanna be gentle when putting it in. So screw to the right or clockwise, like righty tighty when you're putting it on. And then also when you're taking it out, if you can't pull it straight out and you have to twist it, twist it also to the right so that you don't loosen the emitter. Um, I went through and I hand cranked um, everything on the emitter as tight as I could get it. Uh, I don't ever foresee it coming off on you, but if you, uh, if you put a lot of pressure on it with this blade as you're taking it out and you constantly twist it to the left, you may over time loosen the emitter. So just take that care and twist the blade to the right when you're going up or down. All right. Once you're done with that, you can take this ring piece and slide it down and lock it in. Make sure to crank nice and tough on your blade retention screw. Um, if you don't, this ring piece will not screw all the way in. All right. But once you do that, now it's finally everything. Everything is locked down. We can come over here and hit power. And the other sound font. I am a Jedi. So blaster bolt deflex is just tapping on the on the uh, auxiliary button. Blade lockup is holding the auxiliary button down and hitting the saber. You can see it right here. And of course, your unstable blade right here, right? Just like that. So we'll go ahead and take this battery out. Um, I'm going to come over here. If you will not send to the dark side, then perhaps she will. I'm going to come over here while I mess with this blade and just cut the power by flipping the kill switch. All right. And then we can go through the motions of taking the blade back out. So unscrew this top ring. Move it up the blade just a hair. Unscrew your blade retention screw. Twist the blade to the right to take it out just like that. And we will take this ring back off the blade. Put this blade off to the side. Before we can put that ring back on, we do need to come back through and put that blade retention screw back into the blade chamber. Um, if you don't do that, it sticks out into the threads and it doesn't allow this to screw on. All right, so we'll go ahead and lock that down just like that. And that is basically your Magicka Myth and your recess blade. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. And if not, we'll get this out in the mail to you first thing Monday morning. Thanks, man.